Hey everyone. So as I talked about in my last video that I would kind of do a walkthrough of how I program uh, MIDI uh, program changes, uh, CC changes, that type of thing. Um, so this video is gonna dive a little bit into that. I will try to explain it as best as I can. Um, I'm not the greatest teacher in the world, but uh, I can definitely show you how to program MIDI for your MIDI controllable devices. So uh, I should mention the way I have this set up. Um, this is from uh, a camp, a couple of camps that I did uh, this past year so far, last year and early this year. I uh, had a couple different sessions that I was doing that required me to have different sets per per day, but uh, typically I play uh, Sunday services at church, uh, so I'll have one button set up as my Sunday set list, um, and I usually take one button uh, to program it to do a bank jump, so that way I'm not uh, using two buttons to bank up and down. Uh, so I just hit the one button, and it takes me right to uh, right to the songs that I need to take and uh, need to go to. Um, I also have. Uh, buttons D and F program to be my bank jump instead of, like I said, instead of hitting these two buttons at the same time. Uh, so as you can see, I have next, next, and then I have a button after I'm done to go back to the home page, so it bank jumps me back. So uh, I can show you guys how to do that too, but uh, let's talk about uh, programming MIDI first. Uh, so let's We'll go to a bank that uh, I've already programmed uh, to kind of show you guys how to do it. So let's take uh, let's take uh, bank B because why not? So let's do that. So bank B. So what you want to do is you want to press bank B, hit D and F at the same time. This will take you to a uh, a menu, and uh, we want to program preset B. We want to edit the message. And so the MC6 can send up to 16 different MIDI messages, which is pretty amazing. So for message one, I have it programmed to be a program change. And uh, the way I did that was um, went to click next. Um, and with action, you can have a bunch of different actions that you can choose from. You can have press, release, long press, long release, etc. Um, I usually just program a press action because it's just easy and um, I'm not doing anything too crazy complicated with, the, with MIDI. Uh, so I have it on press. Uh, toggle position is if you have two different um, presets or if you want to turn the pedal on and off using a control change. Um, I typically don't use toggle position the way that it's intended to be used. Um, and I'll show you that, I'll show you guys that later. But uh, uh, toggle position essentially is if you want if you have two different delay types and you want to use one button for both types, uh, you would use toggle position. But uh, I typically don't. Um, and your type, uh, so this is if you want to choose a program change, if you want to do a control change, uh, a bunch of other different options you can choose, but we're going to focus on program changes. Um, you have a program change number. Now this will vary based on the devices that you use. Um, so with the timeline, the big sky, they're going to have different uh, uh, program change numbers versus other devices. Um, I don't typically mess with um, exact presets per se when it comes to numbers. Um, I typically just use what's available and I just program it that way. Um, so I've got program uh, PC change number seven. So that'll go to bank seven on the timeline. And I have the uh, timeline set to MIDI channel three. So channel three, I don't want to save it to all channels. And then I'll go up to program, I'll go to message two, do the same thing. Program change, I'll choose a program change for that. PC seven, channel four, which is what my big sky is on. I'll click 
click save. And then a third message for the ML5, which is on uh, channel one. So I've got PC change, uh, program change two for that. And we'll click back because we don't have anything else to program. And that should do it. So we'll do one more. Actually, we'll do it from, we'll do a chorus. So we'll do it from scratch. So I have everything programmed so far. Um, so edit. So normally this says empty, so I'll just kind of show you guys how that works. So let's, let's empty this out here. So today this is what it looks like. So it'll say message one empty, click next. This will be empty, so you'll see I want press, program change. I already have the program, uh, the PC number in there. You can change it to whatever you want to. I had it set to eight, so I'll just keep it at eight. Channel three, save. Press, program change, PC eight. Channel four, which is the big sky. And then, same thing for the ML5. And that way we have verse or intro. You'll see it changing on the uh, ML5 too for verse, chorus, and then bridge. Right, so I found a song that I utilized a control change for. That's what I was looking for previously. Um, I found one. So. Uh, I have this button uh, as a control change to turn the big sky and the uh, timeline on and off. So you, can, you guys can see how I'm doing that. So I'll kind of walk you guys through how I have that set up. So we've got preset C, at the message, a program change for those. Here's a control change. So I have a control change set up to turn it on and off. Um, so it's set to press. Toggle position two, which I believe turns it off. Control change. Yeah, so this turns, I believe this turns it off. Um, and I know values, um, so value zero, okay. So CC number 102, I believe, turns the devices on, I believe. Uh, and that's set to value zero. So I believe there's, uh, I'd have to look again, but uh, there's certain values and numbers that will, for CC messages that you have to use to turn the device on and off. Um, that's the, for the timeline. And then you do another one for turning it on or off. Um, again, I'm not remembering off the top of my head, but uh, um, that's essentially how you would program it. And again, this is where toggle positions come into play. So toggle one and toggle two. So toggle one turns it on, toggle two turns it off. Um, and that's how you would execute that. But the thing is you have to do, when control change, you have to do uh, essentially four different actions. Uh, two to turn it on, to turn each one on, and two to turn each one off. Um, so that's how that would work. Um, so yeah, that's control change and PC changes. So if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks. So here's how to create a bank jump. So that way you don't have to utilize the, the double press for the uh, bank up and down. So um, I said I've got preset A to uh, jump from bank one to bank two uh, to my songs, to where my songs are at. Um, I'm already on uh, bank A, so we can just press D and F. 
Hit preset A, edit message. Set bank is what you're gonna wanna use for this. And it's press action. Uh, toggle position you don't have to worry about. Type is, again, this is where you set what you want. So I have set bank here. Uh, and this is where you'll do it too. You can uh, bank change mode. Uh, so set bank. And I have it jumping to bank number two. And we don't want to go to the last bank. No toggle page. Save settings. Exit. Exit. Exit one more time. So now instead of doing this, I can just hit one button and it takes me right there. And you'll do essentially the same thing for um, if you want to, like I said, this is how I do it, but if you wanted to program two buttons to go back and forward, uh, you would essentially just do that same thing. Um, so preset F, edit message. Uh, so this would say empty first, so you want to um, type is where you're going to find bank up. And that will allow you to, to do the thing. And uh, I use the editor a lot for this too. I always program on the editor. I'm just doing this so that way you guys know how to do it on the actual unit itself because it's very useful to know how to do it both ways. So, uh, so yeah, that's how uh, I use and then obviously a home page, you do a bank jump to the first page. So that's how that is done.